All right, I finally have a different experiment. I'm back to using my Arduino microcontroller to generate pulses. And I've got the digital pin, which is the output, hooked up to this MOSFET driver chip here, which is driving this MOSFET. Um, and this potentiometer is hooked up to the analog pin, which I'm using as input to set the frequency. And power is coming off of the board, going to the MOSFET driver and to the MOSFET. So the MOSFET is only running off of USB. Uh, not drawing very much current at all. Okay, then the MOSFET is hooked up to the primary, which is then hooked up to ground, or, yeah. And then the secondary is just open here, and I'm just measuring it with a scope. Um, here's the code. I'm setting pin 3 to output, analog pin 5 to input, and then this little bit of code I copied off the net sets the prescale of the chip to 16, which speeds up the analog reads. Not really sure what that means, but... Um, so what I'm doing in my loop here is I just read the potentiometer, and if the value is high, then I wait longer because I'm stuck in this while loop doing no no ops, and if the potentiometer is returns as a lower value, then I do less waiting. Uh, so there's less time, dead time. This is the off portion of the duty cycle, and then here I'm directly manipulating the uh, digital output register to turn on pin three. And then the on time is just this series of no ops here. I can take out some no ops to make it shorter or add some more to make it longer. Um, and then here I'm just turning off the pin again. And that gives me these short little blue pulses here. And off of the secondary, which is the yellow channel, I'm getting a nice damped oscillation. Um, slightly damped. Um, now, when Tesla talks about damped versus undamped waves, <clears throat> the blue waveform here is a fully damped wave. And that's what he talks about. Uh, charging a capacitor to a high value and then bringing a piece of tin foil close to it and vaporizing it and other party tricks. Um, a damped waveform has no oscillation after the initial pulse and these have a lot of power, especially the shorter, sharper, and steeper that they are. And then the undamped waveform is just a sine wave. Now in this coil here, uh, there, there's ohmic resistance, and um, the coil's designed in such a way so that it's probably giving off electromagnetic radiation, and it's wasting energy in other ways, uh, in those ways. Um, so the initial impulse is causing an oscillation, which damps out over time. But then, if I increase the frequency, We can see that as we reach certain harmonics of the coil, the amplitude of the oscillations in the secondary go up. And then when we get close to 
full wave resonance. Really goes up. And I can't get a high enough frequency with this chip. I need to get a one of the newer ones that has a higher frequency chip. But um, Tesla recommends that we use quarter wave resonance, so the frequency would have to be the driving frequency would have to be quite a bit higher. I can't even get the half wave. Can do full wave pretty well though. So just off of um, off of the five volts coming off this USB here on this transformer, I'm getting. 100 volt peak to peak, more even. Pretty cool.